Glasgow Science Centre is a visitor attraction located in the Clyde Waterfront Regeneration Area on the south bank of the River Clyde in Glasgow, Scotland. Queen Elizabeth II opened Glasgow Science Centre on 5 June 2001. It is one of Scotland's most popular paid-for-visitor attractions. It is a purpose-built science centre composed of three principal buildings, Science Mall, Glasgow Tower and an IMAX cinema. The Scottish Tourist Board, Visit Scotland, awarded Glasgow Science Centre a five-star rating in the visitor attraction category. As well as its main location, Glasgow Science Centre also manages the visitor centre at Whiteley Wind Farm, which opened to the public in 2009. <laughs> Science Mall The largest of the three main, titanium-clad buildings takes a crescent-shaped structure and houses a science mall. In architectural terms it represents the canted hull of a ship, a reference to the adjacent canting basin, where vessels were brought to have the marine growth removed from their hulls. Internally, there are three floors of over 250 science learning exhibits. As is usual for science centers, the exhibits aim to encourage interaction, and can be used or played with as part of the informal learning experience the center aims to deliver. The building was designed by BDP. On floor 1, amongst the many interactive exhibits that demonstrate scientific principles, visitors can access a science show theater and the Glasgow Science Center Planetarium. The planetarium contains a Zeiss optical mechanical projector that projects images of the night sky onto a 15 m diameter dome. There is an area specifically aimed at young children, called the Big Explorer. On floor 2, visitors can explore opportunities in STEM careers in the My World of Work live interactive exhibition space. There is also the lab, primarily used as an educational workshop space. Floor 3 was refurbished in 2012 and reopened to the public on 28 March 2013. It now houses an interactive exhibition about human health and well-being in the 21st century, called Bodyworks. Visitors are invited to consider their bodies, health and lifestyle from a new perspective through 115 interactive exhibits, research capsules and live laboratory experiences. The ground floor of the Science Mall contains the ticket desk, cafes, gift shop and a cloakroom. There are a number of flexible room spaces on the ground floor that are used for a variety of educational and corporate purposes, an education space called the Egg, a lecture theatre space called the Auditorium, and the Clyde Suite, a multi-purpose function space. Access to Glasgow Tower for the public is also via the ground floor. <laughs> <laughs> Glasgow Tower. The Glasgow Tower was designed to be the tallest freely rotating tower in the world. It missed its opening date in 2001 and was plagued by problems since then. It has been closed for over 80% of its life, and was closed from August 2010 until July 2014. <laughs> IMAX Cinema The IMAX Cinema was the first IMAX Cinema to be built in Scotland. The single auditorium seats 370 in front of a rectangular screen measuring 80 feet 24 meters by 60 feet 18 meters and has the capability to show 3D films as well as standard 2D films in IMAX format. It opened to the public in October 2000, and premiered the first film, entitled, Dolphins, several months prior to the opening of the two other buildings. On 6 September 2013, Cineworld agreed a 10-year lease to operate the IMAX cinema and opened a Starbucks on-site. History Open to the public in June 2001, Glasgow Science Centre is part of the ongoing redevelopment of Pacific Quay, an area which was once a cargo port known as Prince's Dock. The redevelopment started with the Glasgow Garden Festival in 1988. 
As with the other National Garden Festivals, the 100 acres .40 square kilometers Glasgow site was intended to be sold off for housing development, but due to a housing slump in 1987, the developers were unable to develop the land as they intended, and the majority of the site remained derelict for years. Parts were finally redeveloped for the Science Centre and also Pacific Quay, including new headquarters for BBC Scotland and Scottish Television, opened in 2007. The Clydesdale Bank Tower was dismantled and re-erected in Rill in North Wales, however its spiritual successor came in the form of the Glasgow Tower as part of Science Centre Complex, which stands on approximately the same spot. The architects of the Glasgow Science Centre were building design partnership, however the Glasgow Tower was originally designed by the architect Richard Horden with engineering design by Burrow Hapold. It was built at a cost of around £75 million, including £10 million for the Glasgow Tower, with over £37 million coming from the Millennium Commission. <laughs> <laughs> Funding issues In June 2004, it was announced that about a fifth of the workforce were to be made redundant following the creation of a funding deal with the Scottish Executive. In June 2008, the leader of the Scottish Liberal Democrats, Nicol Stephen, stated that Glasgow Science Centre was facing a 40% cut in government funding. Prime Minister Gordon Brown commented on this issue during Prime Minister's questions saying, it's unfortunate in Glasgow that as a result of the SNP, funding has been cut, and they will live to regret that." Although funding for the Scottish Science Centres as a whole has actually increased, it is now being split between four centres using a formula based on visitor numbers, and Glasgow is the only centre to face a reduction in budget. This led to the announcement in July 2008 that 28 full-time jobs were to be cut as a direct consequence of the cuts in order to secure Glasgow Science Centre's future", according to the Chief Executive, Kirk Ramsey. In the media Glasgow Science Centre is located in the Pacific Key area, and as such, is surrounded by the media centres that form the Digital Media Quarter, a Scottish enterprise development initiative. With the opening of the new STV headquarters in June 2006 and the beginning of broadcast programming from BBC Pacific Key in the summer of 2004, it can be expected that more programming will be filmed in the area. In the CBeebies television program Nina and the Neurons, the title character Nina is a neuroscientist who works at Glasgow Science Centre. In reality, Nina is played by the actress Katrina Bryan who is not a staff member at Glasgow Science Centre. See also Dynamic Earth, Science Centre in Edinburgh, Scotland Aberdeen Science Centre, Science Centre in Aberdeen, Scotland Dundee Science Centre, Science Centre in Dundee, Scotland